Breaking news tonight, the new coronavirus scare at LAX, an airport medical screener testing positive. Were travelers exposed? California reporting its first death, a state of emergency declared in Los Angeles County. A new warning from health officials, avoid handshakes and hugs. The release of the new James Bond movie delayed, but for months, growing concerns about movie theaters, concerts, and sporting events. Also, the major airlines slashing flights inside the U.S. and shortage fears inside a top American hospital's emergency stockpile. How long would it last? Also tonight, the stunning turn in the race for president. The Democratic primary looking more like a two-man race. Biden versus Sanders. Biden surging, mounting a historic turnaround on Super Tuesday. Sanders leading in the biggest prize, California. The new shakeup. Michael Bloomberg dropping out and endorsing Biden. Can his support and his money help put Biden over the top? The desperate search, a number still unaccounted for in that Tennessee tornado disaster. At least 24 killed. The heroes who raised opponent drops out. But for a dead worker on the front, more ringing to front runner as yet another opponent drops out. But first, new alarm bells ringing tonight on the coronavirus outbreak in this country. As the number of dead rises, more confirmed cases tonight in New York and Los Angeles, where an airport worker on the front lines of stopping the virus's spread has been infected. Officials there are cautioning people about how they should interact with others going forward. While in the hardest hit area near Seattle, a sobering warning to those over the age of 60. We start with Miguel Almaguer. Tonight in Los Angeles, a local emergency as six new coronavirus cases have been confirmed and now a startling warning shaking the region of 10 million people. Use verbal salutations in place of handshakes and hugs. And whenever possible, try to keep six feet between you and other people that you don't know at large events. Among those infected in LA, a federal contract employee brought in last month to help screen international travelers at LAX who may have exposed passengers while working without symptoms. Three others, also sick, recently traveled to Italy, where a growing outbreak has killed more than 100, shuttering all schools through mid-March. Here at home, growing concern, the virus could quickly impact vulnerable homeless populations in cities across the country. The 11th fatality announced today, the first in California. An elderly passenger on a cruise ship from San Francisco to Mexico. There are now more than 150 cases in a growing number of states. It's a little shocking because like, it's hitting close to home. It comes as authorities in the nation's largest city track a new cluster of illnesses. A New York City lawyer is hospitalized, his wife, daughter and son testing positive. A family friend who he spent time with is also positive, as are his wife and three children. Officials also announcing the neighbor who drove the lawyer to the hospital has the virus. The neighbor's children are being tested. The governor says no need to panic. Near Seattle, where many of the deaths are connected to this nursing home. Officials are now urging anyone over 60, people with underlying health issues, and pregnant women to stay home if possible. Tonight, a fine line balancing caution and fear. Doctors say the virus is spread through droplets when someone coughs or sneezes. The reason behind that six feet of distance, but Lester actually implementing that in a city like this one will be difficult. In December 2019, there was a cluster of pneumonia cases in China. Investigations found that it was caused by a previously unknown virus, now named the 2019 novel coronavirus. In this video, we'll take a quick look at what's currently known about the virus. Keep in mind that this is a new virus, and what's known about the virus now might change in the future. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. They consist of a core of genetic material surrounded by an envelope with protein spikes. This gives it the appearance of a crown. Crown in Latin is called corona, and that's how these viruses get their name. There are different types of coronaviruses that cause respiratory and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Respiratory disease can range from the common cold to pneumonia, and in most people, the symptoms tend to be mild. However, there are some types of coronaviruses that can cause severe disease. These include the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, first identified in China in 2003, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus that was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012.
The 2019 novel coronavirus was first identified in China. It initially occurred in a group of people with pneumonia who'd been associated with a seafood and live animal market in the city of Wuhan. The disease has since spread from those who were sick to others, including family members and healthcare staff. There are many cases at present, and the disease has spread within China and also to a number of other countries. So, where did the virus come from? It's known that coronaviruses circulate in a range of animals. Sometimes these viruses can make the jump from animals to humans. This is called a spillover and could be due to a range of factors such as mutations in the virus or increased contact between humans and animals. For example, MERS-CoV is known to be transmitted from camels and SARS-CoV from civet cats. The animal reservoir of the 2019 novel coronavirus is not known yet. How is it transmitted? The exact dynamics of how the virus is transmitted is yet to be determined. In general, respiratory viruses are usually transmitted through droplets created when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through something that has been contaminated with the virus. People most at risk of infection from the novel coronavirus are those in close contact with animals, such as live animal market workers, and those who are caring for people infected with the virus, such as family members or healthcare workers. So, how does the disease present? Well, from what is known so far, there can be a number of symptoms ranging from mild to severe. There can be fever and respiratory symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath. In more severe cases, there's been pneumonia, kidney failure, and death. The mortality rate is not known yet. How can we tell whether someone is infected? The infection can be diagnosed by a test called PCR, or polymerase chain reaction. This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. There's currently no specific medication for the virus, and treatment is supportive care. There's currently no vaccine to protect against the virus. Treatment and vaccines are in development. How do we prevent transmission of the virus? This new virus currently has a limited geographic spread. However, there are a number of standard hygiene practices that have been recommended to protect against infection and further spread. These include covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with a medical mask, tissue, or flexed elbow, avoiding close contact with those who are unwell, the appropriate use of masks and personal protective equipment, especially in a healthcare setting, washing hands regularly with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub, Actions that can be taken to prevent infection from an animal source include avoiding unnecessary unprotected contact with animals, washing hands after contact with animals or animal products, and ensuring that animal products are cooked thoroughly before they're consumed. It's important to stay home if you're feeling unwell, but if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early and share your previous travel history with your healthcare provider. That's a quick look at this emerging infectious disease. Given that this outbreak is evolving rapidly, what's known about this virus can change. Please check the websites below for the most up-to-date information.